I went into Dark having not seen any of the trailers or knowing really anything about it at all except for the little Netflix introduction at the beginning. This was back in 2017 when the first season premiered and I have to say, I am so happy that I went in <sighs> Dark. Because the show blew away all of my expectations. I was expecting this show to be number one trending show that everybody was watching, but it never became that, at least not after season one. Now that the show has ended, it definitely has gotten the traction and praise that it deserves, but as one of the show's first fans, or so I'll have myself believe, I think I have a rather unique experience with this show, and I want to share my review. Season 1 of Dark is just incredible. The first episode really sets up the series well, and even watching the opening scene after watching all of season 3 just really puts into perspective how far the show really goes. I remember hearing a lot of complaints when the first season was out saying the show was just a German Stranger Things, and judging by the first episode, I can see that complaint. The show is set up for the first episode to be a German Stranger Things, but by the end of episode 2 where Mikkel is back in the 80s, the show separates itself entirely from Stranger Things. Like I said before, I had no idea what the show was about when I first watched it. There are certainly hints that the show would be about time travel in the first episode, but in showing it and how they show it, the show not only separates itself from other time travel shows, but cements its spot as being one of the best sci-fi and time travel shows of all time. I think the standout episode from this season is episode 5, Truths, because that's the episode that delivers the show's first of many, many, many huge twists, and that twist is that Mikkel is actually Michael and is Jonas's father. My favorite character from this season is definitely Ulrich. We're set up to see this man as a cheater and really just not a good person, but in his search for Mikkel, he realizes his wrongdoings, and to see him struggle with the decisions that he has to make and the lengths he's willing to go to get his son back really just makes for a great character. Season 2, somehow, surpassed all expectations that Season 1 had given me. You can really see with this season how this show is written as just a really long movie, and Season 1 was just Act 1. Season 2, being Act 2, fits perfectly, as every episode, except for the first one, has over a 9 rating on IMDb. Every episode just never stops putting the foot to the gas. There are almost constant reveals of characters' relations to each other, and who people really are in just about every episode of Season 2. Just about every storyline that was set up in Season 1 goes in a completely different direction than where I had expected it to go. Ulrich having to grow old in the 1950 timeline was definitely not something I had expected, but makes complete sense for him to run into both Egon and Mikkel in the 80s. The most compelling storyline and character in this season for me is definitely Claudia Tiedemann's. Seeing her origin story and the beginning to how she becomes this all-knowing time traveler is really cool and it also shows how much time travel and the town of Winden affects a rather normal person. I think almost everyone can agree that the best episode of this season is episode 6, An Endless Cycle. It gives so much context to all the characters and where they were before the start of season 1. It also delivers a huge twist that Jonas is actually the reason why his father commits suicide. Seeing future Jonas interact with Martha in the past gives us so much context into Martha's character and how she felt at the beginning of season 1. Also, the ending of this season is such a twist in and of its own. I expected Jonas or Claudia to end up finding a way to stop the apocalypse from happening, but nothing can be done to stop it. Also, the reveal of Multiverse Martha was insane. Each finale just kept on expanding the story and building the universe. At the end of Season 1, we see what the future looked like, and at the end of Season 2, we saw Martha from another universe. My body is a... While I thought the beginning of Season 3 started off kind of slow, I think Episodes 5, 6, 7, and 8 really picked up the pace. I found myself sitting there with my jaw open at the end of each episode. Jonas's death really made me feel like the show would pull any punches, and it truly did. Episode 6, showing the apocalypse and what happened in Martha's world, was also equally jaw-dropping. 
I think what makes this season stand out was how it took Martha and made her the protagonist of this season. If you were to tell me in season 1 that Martha would be the protagonist of season 3, I would have been a little confused, but I think that this season and the episodes past took the necessary steps to show that she was a character worthy of being put in the spotlight, and I think it really paid off. So Martha is definitely my favorite character from season 3. I think any one of the last four episodes could be my favorite, but today I'm going to go with episode 7, Between the Time. This episode really went around and put a stop to any and all plot holes that would have been argued, and also delivered some powerful moments, such as Jonas killing his mom and Bartosz giving birth to Noah, one of the most popular theories to come out of season 2. I've seen season 3 get a fair share of complaints and criticism, but I personally loved the ending. Was it where I expected it to go? No. Was it where I wanted it to go? No. Did I love the ending? Yes. Do I still feel a little disappointed in it? Yeah. But I also have no alternatives for where the show could have gone otherwise. Dark truly is a masterpiece. It's a very smart and complex show, and it treats its audience with a lot of dignity and respect. I'm still amazed that this show was even made and that Netflix took such a huge risk, but I really think it paid off. Dark is undoubtedly my favorite show and I think one of the best made shows of all time. I think 8.8 .8 is criminally low for the show that had three damn near perfect seasons and it should be right up there with the likes of Breaking Bad and Game of Thrones. I'm now a lifelong fan of Barn Bo Odar, I think I'm saying that right, and look forward to his next show, 1899. As a writer myself, I've always been able to track how other writers could connect such complex ideas and storylines, but I will say that Dark was the first show that really challenged me. I give Dark a full 10 out of 10 rating. What would you rate Dark? Let me know down in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up rating and subscribe if you want to see more content like this.